Organizations from all over the world are using Snowflake's data warehouse environment to unlock value for their businesses. However, moving the data from on-premises data stores and applications to the cloud is often more challenging due to the security and regulatory compliance concerns that arise. With Conforte Data Protection for Snowflake, we provide the ability to protect sensitive data while keeping it usable for business processes, other applications, or analytics systems that you might be using. This allows organizations to not only address their data protection concerns, but to also meet regulatory compliance obligations as well. Now, Conforte is seen as a recognized partner for external tokenization within Snowflake data warehouse environments, where we can ensure end-to-end -end protection for the data, whether that's data at rest, data in motion, or data in use. Okay, so within this short demonstration, we will show you data that is related to the purchases of cars and car makes from across the world. Now, this data is required to provide insight into the types of cars people are purchasing. And we can also use Tableau, where we can create a connection into Snowflake in order to create those meaningful business intelligence reports to gain that valuable insight from the data. Of course, this data includes personally identifiable information that requires data protection, but it's also important that we have the ability to reveal certain data elements to users on a need to know basis as well. Okay, so with the first example, I've logged into Snowflake as the d.davidson user, who is a system administrator, and based on their job responsibilities, there's actually no reason to see any of the sensitive data in the clear. So as I run this very simple select statement, you will see from the output of this query that all of the PII related information is completely tokenized. So data types such as first names, last names, email addresses, and so on and so forth is completely protected to the end user. But what if we needed to open up some more of the data for users with roles that needed to reveal some additional data elements in order for them to carry out their job responsibilities? So in the second example, I've actually logged into Snowflake with the j.blogs user who has the role of a call center agent. Now, as I run that very same select statement as we did with d.davidson, you can see as this query returns the results that despite most of the PII data still being tokenized, so such as first names, last names, and so on, now we're actually gonna reveal the country and the city data types in the clear for these particular users. So this might be useful for reporting or analytics that these particular users need to do at a later stage in the process. Okay, so then in the final example, if I had a role where we simply needed full access to the data in order to carry out the job responsibilities, then we can simply permit this role full access to each of the data elements that we are protecting. So you can see that I've logged in as t.chapman, who has the role of a data analyst. Now again, if I run that same select statement as I did with the two previous examples, you'll actually see as this data is returned after the query that most of the PII data is available in the clear. So those first names, last names, social security numbers is all available to this particular user with the data analyst role in the clear. Now the deprotection of this data occurred outside of the Snowflake environment, but now allows this user to carry out their job responsibilities for any reporting or analytics that they might need to run. Okay, so this was just a brief example of how we can tokenize the data in Snowflake environments, but also limit the access to data based on the job responsibilities of certain users.